What's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you how to add a like patch on the dark black empty nadir. Um well if you have this um I recently had a client send over a bunch of 360s with this black hole underneath. So the you call this part the nadir or I don't know how it's pronounced. Um, here's a illustration where it is so we call this nadir this is the zenith um, in our case we edit this but they gave us a hundred images like this and uh, it wasn't part of the contract to you know photoshop it out so what we, what we did in the programming was uh, we added this uh, rotating nadir so we don't have to edit hundreds of images um, yeah, it's 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 easy. Um, you can actually find the code on the website. Okay. Um, I'll start now. First, by hiding a face. Uh, if you go to Kerpano website under examples, you know, here examples. Just scroll down near the bottom part. Well, just search na dito, and you see this. Open it up. Here's the example. Um, if you click here, you'll see the XML code. So this is the code we're gonna use. Um, okay, uh, let's just do the usual thing we do. Um, let me just open Windows. Okay, so here's uh, here, here are the files. First thing we do is drag this here. Okay, I'll, I'll resume when it's done. So it's done. Um, first thing is we need we need to have that image. Um, in this case, I already have it. Um, let me just grab it. Where is it? Okay, I'm copying it and pasting it here. So it's a PNG image. It has a transparent background. Size is. Um, around 300 pixels so this could be anything but try to keep it small enough that it loads fast um, uh, let me just run this so this is the tour now uh, open sublime drag over the code <coughs> okay so what we want to edit is liter skin. I usually add stuff here at the bottom. Uh, let us copy that code. Just this part here. And then change this to uh, the same file name you have. So it's not your top. This on click so, uh, refresh where is it here? So there you have it. You can change the scale. So let's make this two for example. So it's too big, but you get the idea. Um if you don't want it rotating, so right now it rotates. just to move this comment out this code here so in sublime i just do a control uh, forward slash or if you you're, you're you want to type the comment code just do this and add this at the end so it won't rotate now uh, one thing is you don't want this um like clickable because once users get here um, if they get stuck so you can add the capture false so they can drag click and drag on the image um, I want to show another example where like because the actual project we did we mixed the old images they sent the one with the 
empty nadir and then uh, we had some new shots that we edited the nadir shot like this one so of course if if you use that code everything will have that um, image um, let's say for this example the last image is a new image and it doesn't need the nadir cap so what I did is I added the attribute called I think show nadir that nadir uh, I called it I called it nadir and it said true or false so if this is uh, true or if this is false It's not gonna show that. And if it's none, okay, let's try that. Deer, okay, I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to think how I did it. I did that deer voice. And then here, on every panorama load, where is it? On enter VR, no, on new, on new pan, oh, this one. I added a toggle right there. And then at the bottom, let's add that action. Then what do we do? We check for this every load. So to do that, um, we created the variable called show nadir, and then the value of that is the the current scenes nadir attribute value so this is the code to call the current scene so we do an add get so this gets the current scene <laughs> i'm just yet i'm just showing the like the chunks of code so here scene this gets so basically get this returns let's say this if this is the current scene so this is the same as this so that's the same just imagine this part here changing uh, because we are getting getting the current scene and then now we want to get the nadir value this one we're trying to get this so we do, do another get and so now we're getting that value and we're assigning it to the show nadir so let's try to print this so every load of a new panorama we see if it's true or false or null so let's add a console log here to console log and then go back here open f12 click f12 and see the show the deer show the deer okay i did something wrong get So it's null, 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 but here it's false. So we don't want to add true again for each. So what we do instead is we check if this is null. So we do uh, an if, if show nadir is not null. So that means it's populated. So if it's not null, we animate the alpha or the opacity so hotspot regular logo to one so this is the if it's not null it goes here but if it's not null we know that it's false <laughs> yeah but we can also do another check for two or false but you know 
you're the one doing this so you know that every time you add this this will be false so, so here we didn't add it well sorry that's wrong let's see what we did wrong alpha nadir logo nadir logo alpha if it's not null i think this is if it's not null okay let me just pause this and figure out what i did wrong okay so my condition was um reversed so if it's if this has is null that means if it's not null we show it so for these three we show the nadir and for this fourth if it has a value meaning it goes here we oh no if it goes if it has a value it goes here okay so try it out and then here there it is it's actually here because I can see the mouse pointer changing but uh, the opacity is different so let's say let's try 0.5 so there it is uh, that's it for this tutorial hope is uh, hope you can use it through your virtual tours thanks for watching